Now we're going to do wind correction. <coughs> because here's how things work. If, first of all, true course is the line you draw on your chart from point A to point B. That is your true course. You put your little plotter down and turn the dial and it tells you our true course. If we are flying this direction, what's our true course? Zero nine zero. Zero nine zero. We're flying along and we have a headwind of 30 knots, but we have 90 knots indicated. What's our ground speed? 60. 60. Turn that around. What's our ground speed? 120. 120? No, if we turn it, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, 120. Now, indicated was 90. Now, here's our wind at 30. Two things happen. It slows our ground speed. And does what to the aircraft? Push it. You watch. You're flying along, it's blowing you off course. Instead of going to Holtville for the Carrot Capital Festival or Carrot Festival of the World, you end up in Wyoming. Okay? Cool. They kind of look the same. So you're not going to be able to tell. <laughs> Until you're on final. This is our true course. Remember that isogonic line? that has magnetic variation, and it says 1, 3.3, 13 degrees, 30 minutes east. Anytime there's an E there, you subtract that from your true course to get your magnetic course. If there's a W, you add it. So this is where the east is least, west is best thing comes in. So if this is our true course, minus our magnetic variation, what is our magnetic course? And we're going to use 14 degrees. So what's our magnetic course here? We're going to take our true course of 0, 090, zero, subtract 14, So we have a true course of 0, 090. Zero. We subtract our magnetic variation of 14. Gives us a magnetic course of 0, 076. Everybody follow me here or did I lose you somewhere? I think you lost me. Trying to catch up on the notes. Okay. Our magnetic variation. Listen up. Does everybody understand where I got this? I got this off of that diagonal magenta line on the chart. Yes. Okay? So we're going to take, we drew this line on our plotter, or on our chart, going 0, 090 0 degrees. That's our true course. The line we draw on our chart is the true course. Okay? We subtract that magnetic variation to give us a magnetic course of 0, 076. Now, this helps us as far as what direction we're flying. Now, we're flying 076. 076. Have we changed 076? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Have we? No, no, nose of the airplane oh, is right, still right, pointing right, the same right, direction. Yeah. Still the same direction. Okay. Yeah. So, what we need to do is change the aircraft's heading. So we compensate by turning the nose of the plane into the wind and flying basically like this. All right? This direction right here is our magnetic heading. The difference between the magnetic course and the magnetic heading is called the wind correction angle. Correcting for the wind blowing us off course. 